When you have a family, you can't afford to sit around. Muhammad Sani, a local pedicurist, tries to secure a better future for his family by working on that sun every day. Hello and welcome to another insightful story. My name is Hadiza Haruna. Yola's weather degree fluctuates between 40 to 42 degrees Celsius. And under this harsh weather is a man who is driven by passion and desire to design a beautiful family for himself. Muhammad Sani is from the district of Sayaya, Matazu local government of Katsana state. He is married with six children. Muhammad is a local pedicurist. He has been doing the job for six years. And that is what he does to take care of his family. Every day, before he goes out for his daily hustles, Muhammad makes sure all the equipment he needs are properly sharpened and cleaned. Muhammad walks clinging his scissors every day to attract customers and he keeps doing that until he gets one. For every customer, Muhammad serializes his scissors and all the equipment in order to protect them from unwanted jams. According to Muhammad, doing this kind of business is not really easy as he faced so many challenges, one of which includes the tolerance of having to walk miles and miles in search of prospective customers on daddy's scorching sun, and at the end of the day, might not get any. <laughs> When he gets to render his service, at times he does not get paid at the normal 15 era, as some people pay him lesser than that, while some of his service just go on credit. But then, Muhammad managed to make money despite the challenge as there are days where he makes 700, 1000 naira or even more than in a day. He says this with this, he is able to pay his children's school fees and provide food. The daily struggles of Muhammad in a society where unemployment figures is on the increase daily. He's only hopeful that fortune will smile on him by achieving his dreams of owning a shop rather than walking and trying to get customers. More than pedicure equipments, rather than using the local ones and support by relevant government agencies to grow his business. Muhammad emphasized that it's now time for him and his colleagues to create an association like that of the barbers and local herbalists. He says by doing that, it will add more value and recognition for their business. You know, so Muhammad calls on youth not to fold their hands and wait for the government. He advised that whatever you find yourself doing, you should take it seriously as there are no more jobs in the country. 
kar mure ne wannan sana'a sana'a ce mai rufin asiri bakin gurgudo da yana mutun ya samu kanshi to insha Allah wannan sa in dai na yin ta to bi izinillahi zai samu bin bukata bakin gurgudo alhamdulillah and he believes someday everything will fall in place and be just fine